Greetings, everybody. This is our second trip through the Iowa Veterans Home here in Marshalltown, Iowa. I am ecstatic to have a couple more veterans with me, but this time we also have the Commandant. So you may notice a little bit better driving from me on this one than in the last tour. Well, good morning. Uh, it's great to be with you, Jack, this morning. Uh, Commandant Tim and Audrey, the 17th Commandant of the Iowa Veterans Home, along with, with us this morning, we also have the Chairperson of the Veterans Commission for Iowa, Elizabeth Levine, Levina. She and the Commission have sponsored four of your systems, never too late, for our residents here. And those have been on ground for about a year now, and they're also funding another three that we'll be uh, purchasing here shortly. So that is wonderful for all of our Thank residents. Thank you, Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, the foundation. That's uh, that is an honor. We appreciate. We love having our technology serve the veterans around the country. Uh, the Iowa Veterans Home was established in 1887, our the fifth family. largest veterans home in the United States, the only veterans home in Iowa. I am retired from the Iowa Army National Guard after 23 years, spending most of my years right here at 9th and Summit at the Iowa National Guard, right by the Iowa Veterans Home. This this hat is awesome. Introduce yourself to the to the crowd, sir. Crowd, I am <laughs> night train champagne chest brain Dwayne. <laughs> I like things that rhyme. <laughs> I'm in Ron run here. I am from Ottumwa, Iowa. I've been about three or four years in the Air Force. In 1887, all you can go left here if you want to go to the okay, cemetery. Sure. Um, all the um, all the residents had a job that they were required to perform. But what, what, what were some of the ta is it the tasks you that they would, would have received? Like to well, they had the, their own cattle, so they milking the cattle, taking care of left. Taking care of the cattle, they had gardens where they raised their food and vegetables, they had maintenance, they had laundry, etc. So now that is all uh, performed for them. We're at the, uh, the cemetery here at the Iowa Veterans Home. To be interred here at the Iowa Veterans Cemetery, you have to have been a resident at the Iowa Veterans Home. And it's hard not to look at all those tombstones and think of all the lives and, and all the people that have have given their the ultimate sacrifice for this country and it's really an honor for me to be here in the in the van with all of you veterans oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleam Bright stars and bright stars through the perilous night. Oh, the lamplights we walk, we're so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red flare, the bombs bursting in, gave proof through the night that our flag was. Still there, oh say does that star spread 